um, the concept behind this patch settings is that we've chosen a delay settings that we will be using and then we are going to um, adjust or tweak the overdrive uh, in relation to that um, delay settings what I mean by that is um, we will start with a clean patch and then gradually uh, boosting the gain up so that there will be a crunch and then an overdrive uh, um, sound or tone patch for our delay right let's crack on so we've chosen uh, this one um, bank 5 and then the preset level is 60 we've turned off the pickup and the wah compressor as well as off and the amp model that we've chosen is C2 this is our clean amp model noise gate is off bass 6, mid 5, treble 5 modulation is off and the delay that we've chosen is D for digital and then number 3 and the parametric values for that is 49 so it's like how quick or as um, slow the delay so we've just adjusted it to 49 okay reverb as well is off so this is our initial settings and then we've got six and what we did was we've decreased the preset level to 23 initially it was 60 isn't it and we've changed the amp model to c7 the rest is the same so we've got the same eq we've got the same delay okay only the amp model there became c7 and the patch or preset level to 23 that's our six okay for our bank seven or our tone patch seven we have lowered our preset level to 20 to compensate for the amp model which we boost up to the last uh, setting which is c9 so the number there is between c1 to c9 isn't it so this becomes louder because the gain le level is higher hence we put the preset level down a bit okay and the rest is the same uh, the same delay settings all right so that's it
So to conclude with the experiment that we've just done, this is what I discovered. If you're using the Digitech RP55, like how I use my Zoom G1X on with the drum pattern and then I'm fiddling with the patches, this is not great because once you change the patch or bank, your drums stops as well for a few seconds uh, in time with how you change your patch. So that's one downside. Unlike with Zoom G1X on, the drums is just playing then you can change patches. Another thing, so we turned off the the drum pattern and when I swap patches again there's a distinctive delay as well. It's like the transition is not that smooth. So our experiment where it's supposed to be the gain level is adjusting a notch when we try to switch back is not that um, great because the transition from clean to crunch, crunch to the boosted overdrive, there's a delay again. There's like a um, few milliseconds of delay and it's not great when you're on your own jamming you can really hear it now as i've said before i've gigged with this pedal i even recorded using this pedal but uh, i was in a band a full band where there's a second guitarist there's a keyboardist and then obviously the drums and the bass so whatever i'm doing with the pedal is covered up by the second guitarist and the rest of the band, the keyboardist, the bassist, the drums. So uh, you can't really feel or hear the di the the delay uh, with the transition. I can even step like a couple of times just to locate for the next patch, and doesn't and it doesn't affect the rest of the group. Okay. Also the same. I think if we use a uh, backing track because the backing track will just keep going and then you can swap from clean to your rhythm to your lead tone and then back uh, see you soon for more experiment comparison tutorial and bye for now